What's up YouTube? This is Zach with LS Blue and today we're going to be turning some wrenches on the truck. I've got a couple things I got to do to the rear end to get it ready to go in. Got a couple things to do to the truck to get it ready for the rear end to go in. And I'll take you guys along with me, show you what I'm doing, explain what I'm doing sometimes. And it should be pretty much straightforward because the rear end's already cut for an S10, came out of an S10, it's going in, this, in an S10. And there shouldn't be any major problems except maybe the drive shaft yoke and the brakes, there's gonna be some issues, but it's no big deal. Nothing we can't handle, so let's get to the action. Okay, so I've already taken the springs off. They're right there, they're pretty much junk. I'm not gonna reuse those and I'm not gonna sell them. I'm just gonna put them in the strap bin. But I tried recording that and my phone was in slow-mo mode instead of time-lapse and I'm not very happy about it. So anyways, that, and that was some good stuff too. We're gonna take this rear end across the shop, move the truck, and... Okay, so got the wheels off, got it on jack stands. I'm out of breath. Uh, this is what we got. This is the sock 10 bolt, seven and a half inch rear end. That's held so many years of abuse, so many drag strip pulls, all that. Got new, new brakes on it, because I had them put on right before um, the 4.3 and it blew up. Switching over to disc brakes because these drums are dumb. Look how rusty it is. It's not in the best of shape. Old, old nine inch there ought to do the trick. So let's get some more stuff off. So whenever I put my drive shaft hoop in, I did it with the drive shaft already in the truck. And now the drive shaft won't come out. So I gotta take the hoop off kind of, and then pull the drive shaft out to make sure it's gonna fit the nine inch before we go any further, which is no big deal if it don't, but I'd like for it to, so. So, got the drive shaft out, pain in the ass. Wasn't expecting it to be such a pain. But now I'm gonna compare it to the stock or to the yoke on the nine inch and hopefully it fits and it does not look like it's going to stay. I really want this thing to, to work to not have to be changed, considering it did come out of an S10, but at the same time, it's mine. It's not probably not gonna work. We'll know for sure here in just a second.
It is too wide. The U joint is too wide. As you can see, we have issues. Go figure. Okay, so at least now I know. So now I've got to, God dang it, it got bright. So now I've got to figure out a yoke or a U-joint or something. I don't know, but if you guys can help me out figuring out a part number to what you think that is, it's a factory drive shaft that came out of the truck. Uh, it's a heavy bitch too. But if you can give me a part number to a yoke that'll work, that'd be awesome. But let's get some more stuff going. So laying under here, I realized I can probably do away with this cross member, all that. It's kind of kind of rusty a little bit. Probably weld me a new one in. You can see the rust hole right there. I'm gonna weld a new one in. Probably make them make them, uh, um, uh, Need to do away with these aluminum aluminum uh, drop blocks. I've got. I'm gonna use the ones that came off the nine inch. Get rid of these shocks, get some, probably some adjustables. This is all, if I can afford it, which as of right now, I probably can't. Let's get some bolts taken off and get some parts removed so I can go home and eat. Oh yeah, uh, I apologize for the birds. They are everywhere and it is very annoying. What a day. Didn't get a whole lot done to the truck. I, I guess I got some good stuff done, but tomorrow I'll hit it hard and try to have that rear end out. But I'm done for today. It's been a long day at work and then working on this. So I'll pick up tomorrow where I left off try to get that rear end out and figure out what kind of yoke I need for that the new rear end but if you know a yoke number part number for that let me know and I'll look into it but that is going to be all thank you guys for watching click thumbs up send it to your friends whoever's wanting to do this their truck and we might be able to help them out but we'll see